Hi guys, this is Nicole from Extreme Kids and Crew, and tonight we're going to be reading The Bed Book. The Bed Book was written by Sylvia Plath, pictures by Emily Arnold McCulley. This book was published by The Trumpet Club. Let's get started. Beds come in all different sizes, single or double, cot size or cradle, king size or trundle. Most beds are beds for sleeping or resting, but the best beds are much more interesting. Not just a white little tucked in tight little nighty night little turn out the light bed. Instead, a bed for fishing or a bed for cats. or a bed for a troop of acrobats. The right sort of bed, if you see what I mean, is a bed that might be a submarine, nosing through water clear and green, silver and glittery as a sardine. Or a jet-propelled bed for visiting Mars with mosquito nets for the shooting stars. If you get hungry in the middle of the night, a snack bed is good for the appetite. With a pillow of bread to nibble at, and up at the head, an automat, where you need no shillings, just a finger to stick in the slot, and out comes cake and cold chicken. What food would your bed make? I think mine would make spaghetti. Another bed that fills the bill is the sort of bed that is spottable. In a spottable bed, it never matters where jam rambles and where paint splatters, or if a cat and the parakeet dance on the covers with muddyish feet. On the other hand, if you want to move, a tank bed's the bed that most movers approve. A tank bed's got cranks and wheels and cogs and levers to pull if you're stuck in bogs. A tank bed's treads go upstairs or down, through duck ponds or through... Where do you think it's gonna go? A cobbly town. And you're snug inside if it rains or hails. A tank bed's got everything but sails. Now a gentler bed is a good deal more. The sort of bed that bird watchers adore. A kind of hammock between two tall trees where you can swing in the leaves at ease. All the birds would flock, if I'm not mistaken, to your berries and cherries and bits of bacon. None of these beds, of course, is very easy to fold up or fetch and carry. So a pocket-sized bed is a fine bed to own when you're eating out with a friend Jim or Aunt Joan. And they say, it's too bad you can't stay overnight, but there isn't an extra bed in sight. You can take out your bed that's shrunk as small as a pea. And water it till it grows suitably. Yes, a pocket-sized bed works very well. Only, how can you tell? Oh, how can you tell it won't shrink back to the size of a pea while you're asleep in it? Then where would you be? Oh, here is a bed, shrink-proofer than that, a floatier, boatier bed than that. In an elephant bed, you go where you please. You pick bananas right out of trees. An elephant bed is where kings ride. It's cool as a pool in the shade inside. You can climb up the trunk and slide down behind 
Everyone knows elephants don't mind. And when it's lots of degrees below, a North Pole bed is the best I know. A North Pole bed is made of fur. It's fine if you're an explorer. Or if you just have a very cold nose, there's a built-in oven to warm your toes. Oh, who cares much if a bed's big or small or lumpy or bumpy? Who cares at all? As long as its springs are bouncy and new. From a bounceable bed, you bounce into the blue, over the holy locks, toodaloo. Over the owls, to wit, to woo, over the moon, to Timbuktu, with springier springs than a kangaroo. Where would you spring to? You can see up the Big Dipper's full of stew, and you may want to stay up there a week or two. These are the beds for me and you. These are the beds to climb into. Pocket-sized beds and beds for snack, tank beds, beds on elephants' backs, Beds that fly or go underwater, bouncy beds, beds that you can spatter and spotter, bird watching beds, beds for zero weather, any kind of bed, as long as it's rather special and full of surprises. Beds of amazing shapes and sizes. Not just a white little, tucked in, tight little, nighty night little, turn out the bed kind of bed. That was The Bed Book by Sylvia Plath. Thank you so much for joining us for story time tonight with Extreme Kids and Crew. See you next time.